Hey guys, welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Serene Wilkin. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a foam roller to do an abdominal workout. This is a great tool to provide feedback for clients with their spine and where their pelvis is in space. So let's get started. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you an abdominal workout using a foam roller. Now, foam rollers are not just for rolling your muscles. They're a fantastic tool for using feedback for where your spine is in space and where your pelvis is. So let's get started. We're gonna start at the end of the roller. You guys are gonna lay down all the way. You wanna make sure you're centered. So your spine, your head, and your tail have some connection. Just wiggle around and feel that first. From here, I want you guys to start to pay attention to this part. So when our ribs are flared out, we tend to arc our back. You can even stick your arm or your hand under here, you have lots of space. I want you guys to pull this part down first. So that requires abdominal control. So connect your spine to the roller. Next, draw the arms down by the side. You can come onto the palms or the fingertips, and then slowly draw your legs up to 90 degrees. Now right here, connect your back. So making sure that your spine has that connection with the roller. A lot of times this is a hard position for people. They might have to pull their knees in towards their body in order to connect, and that's fine. I want you guys to hold and breathe and squeeze your knees together. So reaching the arms out nice and long, connecting with the floor. Pulling in on the exhale and inhale. Now this is just an isometric hold, but since we're on the cylinder, it's easy for us to lose our balance. So it's giving us that feedback and that challenge. Even if I start to arc my back, I get the feedback from the roller. So from here, hold and breathe, deep breath. Next, we're gonna go into leg changes. So same position of our legs, take one leg down as you inhale, touch down, exhale, pull in. Again, just making sure our back stays connected with the roller is the hardest part. Using your breath as your tempo, moving nice and slow. You guys are gonna to start to feel the lower abdominal wall pull in towards the roller and that is very crucial. When we talk about feeling back pain with abdominal work, a lot of times we take the legs away from the body and arc, and that's when we're recruiting our back. So this is teaching us to pull down more of a posterior tilt as we just move those legs independently of our trunk. After our leg changes, we're gonna just draw our feet down a little bit wider than hip distance. Connect again through the trunk and then interlace. So hands are coming behind the head, thumbs on the neck. You guys are still going to connect with that roller in our spine. Deep breath here. Now tiny surface you're on, you're gonna come up in a little lift through the abs. If you guys are overarching, you will come up just a little bit. So pull the spine down and elevate. Notice your pelvis stays neutral. You're flexing your spine. There's a lot of work going on right here in the core. And then come back down. So this is just our little crunch up. <sighs> Staying nice and stable. Exhale. <sighs> and inhale. <sighs> with each rep, you're going to start to feel more connection with that spine and the roller. A lot more work in the core and just avoiding that arch. From there, we're gonna go into rotation with our lift. So this is tiny. Again, you're on a tiny surface. When you guys come up, we're gonna pull the abs in, lifting through, plant your feet, and then tiny T-spine rotation. Just very, very small. Inhale to center, exhale to twist. Now I have to recruit my obliques here like crazy so I don't fall to one side when I twist. So here and across, center and across. Keeping my knees nice and stable, just adding that tiny little bit of rotation. My goodness, a lot of work in the core. 
and also keeping this part quiet as you rotate. And come back down. You guys can repeat the whole series three times. You can do about 10 to 12 reps. And it's really gonna help you eliminate a lot of that chronic back pain by turning on your abdominals. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this abdominal workout on the foam roller. If you're looking for more information on what causes chronic back pain, make sure to check out mindpumpfree.com and we have a guide on there that discusses really common reasons why we experience it. If you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment below, and we'll see you soon.